Let me show you how to set up and use your new Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. So before you start anything, you have to basically go to your phone and download the app for it. So it's called this uh, Galaxy Wearable. Search for a Galaxy Wearable on your Play Store. By the way, this watch will work only with Android phones. So if you got iPhone, yeah, you're out of luck really. And there's one more app you need to download. That's called Samsung Health. If you already have a Samsung phone, it might already be on your Samsung phone by default. Okay, then let's turn on the watch. While the apps are downloading, we can do that by pressing and holding this upper button here. Okay, hold it for maybe four or five seconds and it will boot up. Then select your language. Okay, and also you will need to select your region. So select your region and click restart. So it will boot up again. Okay, then it will boot up basically and you will get at this screen. Next, you actually need to open your Galaxy Wearable app on your phone that you just downloaded. By the way, if you already had the Wear app and you were using some previous uh, Galaxy Watch basically, I actually go in your Play Store and update that app or uninstall the old one and install it again since we need the newest version as it's uh, quite updated and if you try with the older version, it won't really work and a lot of functions won't work. Work, so make sure to do that. So then let's open it and click the start. Allow your location access and pretty much allow everything. And then already, as you can see, I it basically found this watch. So make sure it's in this screen basically before the phone can actually find your watch. Also, you actually need to uh, enable your Bluetooth. Uh, so make sure you have Bluetooth enabled as well if you can't find it here. Okay, then simply uh, select uh, that watch and shortly it will try to sync both of them. So on this device you have to click this pair and connect and make sure to allow this access to your contacts and call history and click pair. Okay. And then it will try to uh, start the setup process. So this uh, will take some while and you need to click this OK install Galaxy Watch 7 manager and this is the third app you actually need to download. So uh, click install it will bring you to the Play Store basically. So in total we need like literally three apps to run this watch. So it has been installed uh, we can actually go back uh, to that screen on Samsung phone, it uh, this process might be a bit smoother. So as this is not a Samsung phone, then you actually need to sign in your Samsung account. Actually, at this step, we can even skip this. So yeah, uh, previously I don't think you could do that. So I just skipped that. Then make sure to accept this uh, and use a license agreement. Of course, you can make also a Samsung account. So yep, uh, okay. Click allow basically and make sure to allow all of these permissions again access to your call logs and contacts. Obviously, you want to make calls from that watch as well and make sure to allow pretty much all of them. Otherwise, uh, these devices won't work properly. Then also notification access. Okay. Okay, then it will ask you to sign into your Google account here. Uh, you, so you can basically click that to sign in or you can also click this skip button. Okay, let's allow again. Uh, you don't really need that, so you need that. If you want to access this uh, like uh, backup automatic, so you can install that if you want that. However, I don't really need that. So can go back. So then you simply have to select your wearing preference on which wrist you will wear it. Click next. Uh, you can do that as well. And then it's almost ready pretty much. So it will uh, basically show you some uh, tips here on what you can do with that watch. Again, it will take some time to set up. And as you see, uh, we can actually manage this watch from this here. Okay, it will take a bit to start up. Then also, if you are new to these Galaxy watches, I suggest you to take this tour that it offers. So uh, I will simply click skip and basically the watch is usable. It will again give you some uh, like tips on how to use it.
before I show you how to use it, make sure you also open this uh, Samsung Health app that you downloaded. Not that Wear app, but this Samsung Health app. You basically need to create an account where you will see all your uh, like stats, your step count history, all your uh, past exercise stuff here. So you will need to sign in in this account. Maybe if you already have uh, like used previously Galaxy Watch, so you don't really need to do that. But if you haven't, you basically have to create account or sign in with Google. Okay, once you are signed in, uh, sometimes it can open this error that you can't set up an app. Uh, simply click sign in again and it will try to do that again basically and click continue. So this is kind of bug basically if you don't have Samsung phone, I think. Okay, click continue. Allow again all these permissions. Again, you need to allow them. So overall health. So actually you can basically select which one you prefer. Okay. Let's agree. And basically the watch got synced uh, to your phone now. So you will be able to see your step count history, your heart rate, your stress, and many other, other things here. Okay, then let me show you briefly how to actually use this watch. So basically control this watch by swiping from different sides on it. So for example, if you swipe down, you can get access to these uh, quick menus. And also if you swipe in this menu like this, you can get even more of these things. So you can even maybe turn on the flashlight torch and do various other things. So you can see, you can customize them and you can even add more of them here. Okay, and uh, basically if you want to go back on any like screen, you can swipe like this from left to right. Then that works on any screen basically. Then if we swipe like this uh, from the main menu, from the main watch face, we can get access to the notifications basically here as well. Also we can clear them if we don't want. If we swipe like that, you can get access to all of our apps basically. So uh, so basically every, every application this uh, watch has will be listed here. Also this is that uh, Play Store icon here. If you click on that, you can actually download more additional apps on this watch from here. So if you want to open it up, simply literally just click on it. Again, if you want to go back, uh, auto that app, swipe like that. If you want to maybe re rearrange them, you can click and hold and simply drag it somewhere else and then simply release. And that's very easy. Again, go back like this. Then if we swipe like this, we can get access to like more things here. So you can start your workouts here. You can basically explore. These are called tiles basically. And you can customize and add more of them here. So there are a bunch of things and you can even track your ACG, blood pressure, and you can even add more. If you want to add more, simply press that. Okay, accept that and then simply select uh, what more tiles you want to. So simply select and it will be added. So we can add pretty much uh, unlimited amount of them. Okay, and again, to go back on anything, swipe like that. If you want to arrange the order of these tiles, you can click and hold it and then uh, Again, click and hold it a bit and then simply move it like that. So simply play around. Okay. And you see the order got changed. Obviously, if you click and hold, you can also remove these tiles here as well, if you like to. So I really like to remove some of these as I don't really need them. Then if you want to adjust any settings on this watch, you can swipe down like this and click this uh, settings icon here and it will bring you to pretty much everything on this watch. So we can go in the display, for example, and change, increase the brightness. So it looks better. As you can see, you can enable your always on display here and do various, adjust your screen timeout and basically all the things. Also uh, make sure you go into this health tab here as well and click this heart rate. And if you click this measure continuously, so it will measure your heart rate actually no, all the time. By default, it's actually enabled to measure your heart rate only every 10 minutes to, I guess, to prolong the battery life maybe a bit, but uh, make sure to enable this if you want the most accurate heart rate measurements. Also, you can enable your stress here. Otherwise, it's not tracking your st stress here as well. So what else we got uh, here basically? Got some advanced features. 
uh, such as maybe I, I really like to dis uh, like disable this so basically once your watch goes out of range of your phone it will disturb you and let you know that it has been disconnected it's very annoying so I really like to uh, disable that also this feature here in settings buttons and gestures is really nice actually so uh, we can actually pre like customize uh, this uh, button so we can double press it and uh, basically uh, launch a lot of different things with so we can select maybe calculator so if you double press it a calculator gets launched again so you can set up for a loads of different things then in these same gestures you can even get this double pinch feature then also this is very nice feature knock knock feature so let's click that and make sure to enable it select an option and select uh, which thing you want this to control so let's set it as a torch so let's try it out and as you saw when i did basically that knocking feature like this a flashlight got launched very cool then also if you want to uh, change or customize your watch face you simply have to press and hold on it so click and hold and it will show like this then again we can swipe like this uh, to click add more watch faces and you can select from this big list of watch faces which uh, well, what else you want to add that basically so let's click that okay we can go back by pressing this and if you want to customize this watch face maybe you want to change these icons here like various data fields you can click and hold again and click this customize here okay and we'll even show you uh, a quick guide basically the first how to do that okay so then basically uh, you can swipe like this to change colors for example and so you can swipe like this to go to the next section of the customization so you can change your clock font here comp like these uh, colors of those icons and then these like menus themselves so you can select for example this small one uh, to like show you maybe i don't know like as you can see you can pretty much uh, if you press that small icon you can launch any of these things so let's set alarm basically so once you will click that it will launch your alarm app basically then also you can customize more features here again simply select from whatever you need and yeah once once done basically again click that and all these changes will get updated if you click this alarms here as you see it uh, launches us to the alarms directly basically and yeah you can customize this in crazy amounts of ways also if we launch the uh, galaxy wear app we can also customize pretty much a lot of things here on this app as well and it will send them directly uh, to that watch as well so we can click the watch settings as you can see pretty much everything is right here as well so it might be even easier for you to manage also you can customize like the tiles the order of them so really maybe this is even faster i think to set up through the app here instead of the watch and yeah that's basically it so you customize all the settings through the galaxy wear app and see your health stats health history in this samsung health app basically so you can see uh, like your daily steps here how many you taken every day of course you need to start using it at the moment it doesn't show you anything your aig's index so this is a brand new feature here uh, so blood oxygen stress all kinds of great stuff and as you start using this more more it items actually will get added here and you'll see more stuff here so simply really start using this watch wearing it and also a lot of things require you to actually sleep with this watch so that's another thing but again as you start wearing a lot of things will start popping up here and even more it will give you in mars more stuff so really you simply have to start using this watch to see even more stuff overall this new samsung galaxy watch 7 is absolutely amazing and with that new super powerful cpu this has it's super super fast this year yeah anyway good luck with the setup and yeah all the best see you